I've known and admired Jeff Carr uh, for more than 35 years. I met him first when I was a prosecutor and I was often battling against him in the courtroom. And for the last 20 years or so, I've been a colleague of his uh, battling against prosecutors as we uh, represent conflict. I recently had an opportunity uh, to go and view his project over in Hayward uh, regarding the restored uh, Huey helicopter that he and his great friends uh, have worked on for so hard. I really didn't expect much other than maybe a helicopter ride. Uh, but when I arrived, there was a presentation given by uh, some of his fellow vets, which included uh, videos of their experiences and a very moving poem uh, by uh, a Huey flight uh, crew a member that was just remarkably touching. And not only was it great history, but it was so remarkably emotional and, and wonderful that uh, that by itself uh, would have made my day. But we later that same morning had a chance to take a ride in the Huey. First of all, it's just beautiful in terms of the way it's restored. Uh, and the phrase living history is sometimes overused, but this is truly an experience in living history. To ride on a Huey helicopter with the cargo doors open, with this beautiful machine restored perfectly with replica M60s, replica M16s, and all the other weaponry. And as you're 2,000 feet above those beautiful East Bay Hills, to think about those young men, uh, along with their Vietnamese colleagues, who flew in that manner uh, into combat facing what we all know they faced was just an extraordinary experience. And, and my admiration for all those men and for what they did uh, just grew, e even though it has been <laughs> substantial uh, 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 all along. Uh, the, the, the flight was, was remarkable. Our pilot took us down low, and we chased some cows, as they joked, but took us in to try to replicate in some ways the way that those men uh, came in over the treetops to avoid being shot down and, and swooped in to either pick up some of our soldiers or to drop off some of our soldiers into uh, uh, it, it, it was one of the greatest experiences that I've ever gone through. And I've seen all the war memorials that this great country has, uh, but I actually got a chance to, to, to live it uh, on that day. Uh, we came back and had a chance to have a marvelous barbecue that was donated by a caterer, who, a young man who certainly is not of the Vietnam War era, but he appreciates what uh, these folks have done, and, and he has donated uh, the catering uh, for their events, and to have a chance to sit and touch and talk to uh, and have them reminisce in some measure about what they did uh, was just, just a great, great day that I'll, that I'll never forget. I decided at that point, uh, I'm almost embarrassed to say so because of all the years I've known Jeff, I've never supported EMU financially. Well, I got back to my office that afternoon and I got online and I joined uh, EMU, and I will financially support them uh, for as long as I am able. Uh, and uh, all the other men and women of my age uh, that lived through that era and have the same kind of respect uh, for the men and women who fought in that conflict uh, should consider doing the same. The website is marvelous. It gives a great history. Uh, but there is just nothing like standing on uh, that runway uh, at the Hayward Airport and looking at that machine and having a chance to climb up on it and examine it and, and look at the pilot seats and look at the open cargo doors in the area in which 13 or 14 men fully loaded with all their gear and all their weapons. You just can't imagine what they were thinking when they uh, were on uh, those uh, Hueys. Just a great experience all around that I'll never forget.